Okay, so this this question kind of stems from that, and that's, do you have any debt? If so, what kind? And, you know, how do you look at that debt? And, you know, what what is kind of your thought process around handling that debt and, and obviously um, getting that down? Sure. So in terms of, of any debts that I currently have or have had, we should probably start with where I've been. Um, starting through school, college, I did not obtain college debt, thankfully, through, you know, part-time work, scholarships, community college, didn't have to go that route. Um, my first experience really with debt was my car that I purchased. So luckily I was able to save up a lot of money right through high school and college. But, you know, did I decide to pull the trigger on my Tesla? I did. So I put about half down and then I had the remaining amount, I don't know, what it was twenty, twenty two thousand dollars $22,000 in the loan. And, you know, it was like, oh, I could set it up for 72 months and pay it. 300 bucks, 330 a month in payment. But me, I'm like, no, that's not happening. So luckily, I was already working part-time in college into full-time. So I literally just took all my paychecks. I was still at home, paid off that debt, ASAP within six, seven months. Just got rid of it. Um, after that, I had no debt. I was working at home, started my career. So I was literally just saving everything. At that point, it was uh, an opportunity came around where I was able to purchase my first house. And, um, you know, I think I put... 17 or 18% down on that. So that's currently the only other debt that I have at the moment is my, you know, primary residence mortgage. So um, in terms of, you know, how to how to logistically tackle those, it's really to avoid the, the stupid debts. You mean credit card debt? That should never be the case. Also, we've always talked about, you know, student loan debt for, for the new generation. We got to make sure they understand that that's an easy one in most cases to avoid. That should just be off the table. Um, when it comes to cars and stuff, there's always ways to mitigate it, right? Do you need to buy a forty-five, fifty thousand dollar truck and have you know forty grand in debt on that? Probably not. But you know, try to find anything that you can just afford and, and give you the least amount of debt possible. When it comes to a house itself, I don't know what the percentage would be. I doubt one or two percent of the population can pay for cash for their first house. It's just not going to happen. So you just have to go into it realistically. You know, you're going to have to understand there's going to be a debt, you know, incurred on that. But if you have a process on how to tackle it, let's say like in my situation, structured as a 30-year, I want to pay it off at ASAP. So I pay it off double payments as a 15. It'll pay off in 10, 11, or 12. That's how I'm approaching it. Other people can have different methods. But as long as you have intentionality to why you're taking out the debt, I don't really find it as much of an issue as, as some others would. It's really just, long story short, avoid the easy debts to avoid. Avoid those um, medium debts like cars and stuff. Just try to minimize those, and then on the on the homes and, and other properties, you know, just understand and have a, a a plan to tackle it. 